時は戦国末期日の本すべてを焼いた戦果はいまだに勢いに衰えず山深い芦名の国にも燃え広がっていた。心すらなくしたかああ共に来るか飢えた狼そして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった忍びの掟は忘れまいな親の次に大事なものお前の心に刻むがよいあれが今日からお前のあるか命を落としてもの、たとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいなら狼よ一心の国取りから24年芦名の国は斜陽にあり狼の忍びは全てを失っていた育ての義父も守るべき主も。忍びよ目覚めてくださいあなたの主のためにLadies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sekiro, a game from From Software, the people behind Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, 
And this is a new game, so brand new character. There won't be any upgrades. Uh, I'm starting from scratch. What this means is that it will be a longer playthrough. On my channel, I did post a new game plus four, I believe, and it took about three or four hours to get through. This one will be longer. We should experience the story. I'm going to be talking to as many NPCs as I can come across, and I'm going to leave in all the cutscenes. I'm not going to skip anything. So right now we're just in the prologue and we're on our way to meet Kuro for the first time. So we are his ninja, his shinobi as it were, and we have awakened in that aqueduct. And we don't know what's going on. All we know is that we need to meet up with him and help him with whatever he wants. So we're just going to jump up here and meet him for the first time. おかみよ。狼よ。傷を負っておるようだな。そうだ。そなたにこれを託そう。薬水の氷炭だ。これで傷を癒してくれ。さて、そなたの体、その後大事はないか。その後とは。あの世のこと覚えておらぬのか。いや、司祭は後にしよう。今はこの足の城を脱さねばならぬ。行為。掘り沿いに進んだ橋の下に城外への抜け穴がある。一心様より早う聞いたことがある。まずはその橋下の抜け穴を見つけてきてほしい。見
there is a mini boss up the stairs from here, and I will be fighting him on the off chance that he gives us a prayer bead. And prayer beads are essential in increasing your vitality and your posture bar. Unfortunately, the way we currently are, if you weren't aware, when we first started the game we had a sliver of health and we got one healing gourd and I've already drank it and I'm at about half health. If I do die here, uh, I'll be able to respawn with full health, but hopefully we can get through this prologue area without me needing to die. This guy is essentially our largest threat, and it's so far so good. Okay, perfect. We got through him easy. No harm, no foul. And he gives us a pellet. Now, I've never used a pellet. I've never used any consumables really in this game. Because I, that's just my playstyle. I'm the guy who hoards everything and then beats the final boss and realizes he never used anything. So it'll be the same here. Perfect, so we managed to eavesdrop on the people on top of the bridge. Eavesdropping is a... I won't say it's a important aspect of the game, but it is helpful to, you know, get learn about the current uh, climate that we are living in and what's going on around us. It becomes relatively important if you're trying to do the merchant quest line, for instance, where you need to eavesdrop to find out what they want so we can sell it to them. We won't be doing that, I don't think. I will be trying to do as many NPC quest lines as I can come across, but they're not super essential. この so here we're heading towards our first boss fight, which is a supposed to lose fight. If you're familiar with From Software's games, it's very common for them to do this. It is possible to win, and I will try to, but again, notice that I have no healing gourds and I'm at about half my health, so I'll probably die in a hit or two. Miko. <laughs> おじうえの墓前以来か。So, unfortunately for us, this is the first big roadblock we're going to come across, and as it stands, we do not have a lot of the tools necessary to help us beat this guy. The most prominent of which is Makiri Counter. It is the thing I'm going to be rushing towards to get it as soon as possible. Honestly, I feel like it should just have come with the game, like, as a, as a base skill you're able to do, but unfortunately not, and while it would be helpful for this fight, we don't have the benefit of using it, so we're going to try our best 
to just get through them without dying. Yeah, unfortunately I got smashed there. That would be a Makita counterable attack, but well, we'll make do. Got rid of his first health bar, and now to start on the second. Incredibly stressful. One mistake and I die. Come on, please. I'm trying so hard. Ugh.
そうすりゃその義手のありがたみがわかるじゃろうさ喋、うん、<笑>りすぎたな生きな巫女様の血が利用されるとはどういうことだわしも詳しいことなど知らんただ流院そう呼ばれる特別な血があるという主の主はそれを持っておるそれゆえ巫女様は付け狙われるお前さんの体が妙なことになっておるのもそのせいかもしれぬなお前さんもそうじゃがこの荒れ寺にはおかしな客がまあまあ訪れる寺を出て右手の広場にもそうした者が一人おる妙なことになっておる者同士気が合うかもしれんな So that's it for the prologue. We now know that they want to use Kuro's blood in some way. We've met the sculptor. And we're officially out of the prologue. So that's it for me on this one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.